Hi guys, uh, just an update on my Voron 2.4. Uh, I'm actually printing out this object for my daughter's shower. It's the, sh uh, the new shower holder I bought was too short and I didn't want to drill holes. So I'm uh, printing out like a custom extender that I made. I'll actually show you real quick. Um, because it's a small object, small perimeter, it's maxing out maybe 100. Excel, I don't think I have it set too high. Uh, you'll see my print settings here. This is what it's going to be. It's going to fit through a pipe there and it's going to fit into a pipe there. I put my daughter's name there so she can see that it's a custom shower pole head thingy. Uh, print setting rather slow, but I've set um, um, speed. You'll see that pretty relatively slow speeds, 3K, 2K, perimeter 200, inner perimeter, and then external 100. Um, one thing I've done is, let me see, I've set the, uh, oh, the cooling. Yeah, the cooling, it, it completely slows it down. Um, I've set the fan to 100% for the pet G, And then I've set all the short layer times to, uh, I disabled it. Because if you don't disable it, it will go hella slow. Um, but yeah, it's relatively pretty, pretty good. Um, I've been tweaking a little bit. One thing that I was having trouble was my Z, uh, Z end stop there. I had it way too close to the bed. So when I was doing, uh, when I was homing, what it would do is it would, the, um, the Z end stop would be cold, right? And then when the bed heats up, it would, it would be too close and it would actually heat up the Z end stop. Um, so it would completely mess it up so however I did it, if I was homing while cold or hot, the Z offset would change and then it would cause, one time it just creaked, um, destroyed that part of the uh, bed. So I figured that out, so I moved it. You're supposed to have it 1.5 millimeters away. I moved it almost like two, maybe two and a half millimeters just to be safe. The heat, make sure it's not too close to the bed, otherwise the heat will transfer and uh, the metal in the ZN stop will basically expand and you'll get a you know you'll get something like this and cause problems so little minor things like that other than that it's working pretty good pretty good quality at the speeds I might speed it up later but you know I'm trying to get good quality prints not so much speed I mean pretty good quality um, but yeah um, my enclosure is coming soon I need those uh, hammer screws thingies, the, the slots, 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 uh, slot hammer, hammer slots. And uh, once I have that, I should have it fully enclosed, which they don't deliver to Monday. Um, but yeah, I'm using PETG right now. Mostly I'm gonna probably print actually TP with this. I'm not sure how well this extruder will work. It's a Dragon of Standard Flow. Um, I'm not going to run it terribly fast. I just want to be able to print multiple and print it perfect with the Voron. So that's the goal. Um, I'm still fixing my rat rig. I think something wrong with my hot end. I think I screwed up. So tomorrow I'll be able to fix it. But yeah, looking good. Um, printer working well.